Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at an old, long-standing problem that's kind of popped back up in Windows 10. This app can't run on your PC. Now, before we get started, there's a million guides out there. We're going to walk you through it. We're going to probably be seven, eight minutes. Grab a cup of coffee, sit down, bear with me. There are millions and millions of types of software out there and Windows 7, XP, Vista 10. There's all sorts of possibilities. So let's work our way through the obvious. Right here in our tutorial, which I'll link to up here with a little eye you're gonna have one of three messages very similar and check with your software publisher make sure user account control is on and it's blocked by admin if you've eliminated those three let's go compatibility mode and troubleshooter you won't see this in a lot of tutorials because a lot of them are older because the troubleshooters didn't work troubleshooters are a database that Microsoft has of known problems. So right click on the program that's giving you the problem, hit properties. Now normally we go right down into the compatibility mode and right into compatibility mode. Not today. Let's do the compatibility troubleshooter. It's going to look and try and find problems and see if it's in their database. You could try the recommended settings first right there. Go ahead and try that. See if it runs. If not, come back. Then let's go to troubleshoot program. And as you can see, I already have checked. It worked in earlier versions of Window. If anything else applies, you can go ahead and check it and see what they come up with. Hit Next and finish following through the troubleshooter. So we kind of killed two birds with one stone here because you can try right away with the recommended settings. If it doesn't work, you might want to try compatibility mode. Typically, Windows 7, Windows 8 would be my choice. So go ahead, do that, click OK and then come back. We want to spend a few minutes here. You might want to try reduce color mode, say 16-bit color. Do OK, try and run it. Run in 640, try and run it. Disable full screen, try and run it. Run it as administrator, you can actually do that by right-clicking. That's up to you how you do it. As for changing high DPI settings, probably not. But if you want to try it, you can. Again, we're just throwing everything but the kitchen sink at like everybody else except for a few twists and turns so again you can right click and run as administrator and see if that helps yay let's move on all right hopefully that gets you where you need to be that's a pretty good bet the application is supported now this is kind of an interesting one this website wasn't loading for me earlier old versions sometimes you can find an old version but check the author we have a lot of software at major geeks where we offer a new version and then they offer what they often call a legacy version sometimes it's no longer updated it's usually for windows 7 8 vista 32 bit and it should run we'll get more into 32 bit 64 bit in just a minute here so essentially go to old versions if they don't have it there next thing you can do free vmware player this will work for just about everybody so you can't say we didn't fix it. It's just a hard way to do it. This is a virtual machine. I am sitting in a virtual machine right now. So you download it. It's free. You install Windows 7 or Windows 8, whatever operating system you used to run the application on, and it should work for you, especially if it's an older app. A video tutorial here showing you how to use it. And that is awful handy. So developer mode, this has come up a few times. I'm not a big fan. I'm not sure about this one. I think it's kind of but give it a try on Windows 10. Start settings. I believe it's update and security. I believe for developers. Click on that and then click on turn on developer mode. All right, so click that and then the final one. If it doesn't work, come back and shut it off. We're getting down there now. All right, 32-bit or 64-bit app compatibility. If you're not familiar with it, let me handle this with you. You have either a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. If you don't know, you go to Start, Settings, System, and you click About, and it'll tell you about it. I'm not going to click on it because it gives a bunch of information I don't want to give out right now. But you click on About, and it'll right about here. It'll tell you if you're 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, if your application is 32-bit, it should run on 64-bit. If your operating system is 64-bit, it should run 64-bit. But it also should run 32-bit. Now here's the other trick. If it's an old, old app, 16-bit, it won't work in 64-bit. You may be able to use compatibility mode, as we discussed earlier. Give that a try. One of these things should hook you up. 
Again, there's just so many possibilities. Now, what I want to eliminate, just to let you know, some of the tutorials are so old out there, some of them are kind of almost funny. Um, disabling smart screen isn't the problem. Usually the smart screen window would pop up when you run the app, not fail to run. Cleaning the registry has never solved a problem that I know of. Creating a new administrator account. I don't get that one. I didn't see anybody anywhere that said that worked because you're usually on an administrator account, or you should be. Running system file checker. It's a maybe. P probably not. These errors are more specific to what we discussed above. Clearing your browser cache or temporary files. No, I don't think so. These are all old. They've been written, for example, four, five, six, seven, eight years ago. And that's why. I'm pretty confident one of these will get you. I mean, again, the only problem we might have is you might not like the answer. You might need to run in VMware. You know, if, if the app doesn't work anymore, and it'll happen a lot after a Windows update, don't forget, you it's working fine, Windows updates, and all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. Well, that's when sometimes compatibility mode will help, and sometimes you're just stuck. So remember that oldversions.com can help you out. Check your publisher. Find the old version there, too. One or the other. There you have it. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo pops up. You can click subscribe. Don't forget, if you'd like to follow this tutorial step by step, click the I. It should be up here somewhere. And that gives you a link to the web page. I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to update this tutorial. I'd like to wrap this bug up in one good tutorial, and I can do it with your help. If you fix the problem and I missed it, please let me know. I'm glad to update the tutorial and we can help others. That would be cool. I appreciate you all watching. As always, see ya.